Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by at Auto Avenue. Uh, be sure to join the Auto Avenue Discord server as well as keep an eye out for a video as to why I changed my channel name as well as just the channel update. In this video, I will be reviewing this 2021 Mercedes-Benz C300 as well as doing a trim level comparison. The vehicle in this video starts at $43,000. $600 and gets a combined MPG of 27 miles per gallon. It has a 255 horsepower 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine. It's turbocharged and can propel this vehicle from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds, which is pretty impressive. This car has a 9 G Tronic transmission, which is Mercedes Benz's 9 speed shiftable automatic. This car has the formatic drivetrain, meaning that all four wheels are the drive wheels. This car rides on 18-inch five-spoke wheels. The base rear-wheel drive C300 model starts at $41,600. Um, it has the same engine and the same combined MPG, as well as the same transmission. The only difference is that the drivetrain is rear-wheel drive. Next in line is the Mercedes-Benz C300 Coupe. That is a two-door configuration and starts at $47,200. MPG, the engine, and the transmission are all the same, and it has a rear-wheel drive drivetrain. Then there's the C300 Formatic Coupe, which starts at $49,200. It's essentially just the C300 in a two-door configuration with um, an all-wheel drive system. And this lowers the MPG on the coupe model by one. So instead of getting a 27 combined MPG, it gets a 26 combined MPG. However, the engine, the transmission are both the same. Coming in at $54,700 is the Mercedes-Benz C300 Cabriolet that has the two-door configuration and is a convertible. It gets 26 combined MPG. Um, and is rear-wheel drive. The engine and the transmission are the same as all the other models. It's the same 2.0-liter in inline four-cylinder turbocharged engine and the same 9-speed automatic transmission. Lastly, you have the C300 Formatic Cabriolet, which starts at $56,700. It gets a combined MPG of 25 and has an all-wheel drive drivetrain. Um, other than that, everything else is the same as the C300 Cabriolet. I also forgot to mention that the Mercedes-Benz C300 sedan and the C300 Formatic sedan, those are the only two um, vehicles to offer five-person seating. All the other models offer um, four-person seating, so they only seat four people. Moving on to the AMG series for the C-Class, you have the C43 AMG sedan that comes in at $56,500 and does 0 to 60 in a whopping 4.5 seconds. It has a 3 liter V6 bi-turbo engine that's AMG enhanced that kicks out 385 horsepower at 6,100 RPM and 384 pound-feet of torque for anywhere from 2,500 RPM to 5,000 RPM. This model seats five people and gets 18 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway. As for the transmission, it has an AMG Speed Shift TCT 9 speed transmission. Um, the C43 also has a 4 Matic drivetrain um, as well as 18 inch AMG 5 spoke wheels. Next is the C63. AMG sedan that has an MSRP of $68,600 and has a 4 liter handcrafted AMG V8 bi turbo engine that puts out 469 horsepower at 5,500 RPM to 6,250 RPM and puts out 479 pound feet of torque anywhere from 1,750 RPM to 4,500 RPM. It has an AMG Speed Shift MCT 9 speed transmission um, and can seat 5 people. It gets 17 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon in the highway. 
As for the drivetrain, it has a rear-wheel drive drive configuration. However, a 4MATIC option is available. Uh, you also get 18-inch AMG 10-spoke wheels. Even better is the fact that you have adaptive AMG ride control, as well as a limited slip differential so that you're quicker off the line. Last but definitely not least is the C63S AMG sedan that comes in at $76,200 and has a 4-liter uh, V8 bi-turbo handcrafted AMG engine. However, this one is slightly modified to put out 503 horsepower, anywhere from 5,500 RPM to 6,250 RPM. And it also puts out 516 pound-feet of torque, anywhere from 1,750 RPM to 4,500 RPM. It does 0 to 60 in a whopping 3.8 seconds and has an AMG Speed Shift MCT 9 speed transmission. This car can seat five people um, and has 19 inch AMG twin five spoke wheels. It comes standard in a rear wheel drive configuration, although a 4MATIC configuration is available. You can see that in the front, the sensor is blocked. That's because this vehicle is not equipped with the radar cruise control system. There are two ways to get inside this vehicle. One, you can use the key and you can unlock it um, using the button. And you can see that the mirrors automatically fold and open uh, depending on whether the uh, vehicle is locked or unlocked. The second way is you can put the key in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, um, grab on the door handle, and that also unlocks the vehicle. Getting inside, uh, you can see that the interior looks pretty good. You have a digital cockpit and a screen to the right of it. Some key features of this vehicle include power front seats with uh, driver seat memory. You also have dual zone automatic climate control system, as well as three years of Mercedes Me Connect services. Um, and you also have Mercedes Me Connect assist services. Now you might be wondering what is Mercedes Me uh, Connect services as I mentioned earlier. Uh, they essentially allow you to connect your smartphone to your car and this is offered all throughout Mercedes-Benz's um, lineup. Uh, they allow you to connect your smartphone to your car and you can uh, do a wide variety of things with them. One noteworthy feature um, is that if your car is parked and someone bumps into it, it immediately sends an alert to your phone telling you that someone has crashed into your car. I find that really useful. Safety features which are available include active brake assist, attention assist, Mercedes-Benz emergency call, and active assist Distronic, which is essentially the radar cruise control. The center screen of this vehicle is a 10.25 inch high resolution display. The digital instrument cluster is 12.3 inches. You also have a steering wheel with touch button controls, um, as well as a center controller. Other options include memory for the front passenger seat, uh, ventilated front seats, which this vehicle doesn't have, as well as a heated steering wheel. The instrument cluster in the C300 um, is quite informative. It has everything you would need to know um, when you're driving. Now I'm going to speed this part up a bit, but you have Harman Kardon speakers, a wood trim on the driver's side and the passenger side doors, as well as power seats on the driver and passenger side. This vehicle also has a power panoramic sunroof. Um, it's split into two parts. There's a smaller part for the people in the back and a larger part for the people in the front. Um, it's quite good. And if you have an AMG model, I want to discuss some of the interior uh, features and options you can get. If you have a AMG C63S sedan, you can get a Napa leather package. Uh, you can also get an AMG performance steering wheel, um, which costs about $100. Uh, if you want a better steering wheel, you can get a $400 AMG performance steering wheel in carbon fiber. Uh, you can also get the steering wheel in just Napa leather, which is standard. Uh, you can also upgrade to AMG Performance front seats, which cost $2,500. In the center display, you can do a wide variety of things. Uh, my favorite is that 
you can monitor exactly how much power you're making at any constant time, which I find to be pretty useful and pretty fun. There's also a GeForce monitor, as well as a sensor that detects how much you're depressing the brake and how much you're depressing the gas pedal. You can also see your fuel consumption levels, as well as um, select your ambient lighting colors. There are a wide variety of colors to choose from. I've never seen this many color options on any other vehicle. The center display on this vehicle is not touch. However, if you upgrade, you can definitely get a touch screen on the C300. You can also scroll through this vehicle's owner's manual in the center display itself. So for example, if you wanted to find out exactly how to start the car, you would just input that in and then you could see how to start the car. In this case, I decided to search how to set the equalizer on this vehicle and uh, it immediately shows you. You can also choose between a wide variety of designs for the center display and the digital gauge cluster. Uh, you can select between a day and night mode as well as a classic uh, sport or progressive look. Um, this is the sport look. So it changes up the colors um, and the designs a bit. The progressive look eliminates the analog display and changes it to a numerical display so you can see exactly how much RPMs uh, you're at and the exact speed you're at in a numerical form. You can also lock the trunk um, using the glove box. This is especially useful if you're giving your car in for valet parking. These buttons here adjust the climate control system of the car. There's also an analog clock. Um, that has the Mercedes-Benz logo. Moving on to the back of the car, you have a rear climate control system as well as rear ambient lighting. There are also three headrests for each of the passengers in the back. If you want to stop the airflow for any of the vents in the vehicle, you simply just turn that dial and it will stop the airflow. There is a rear armrest um, for the rear passengers. It also opens up to uh, reveal two cup holders as well as a storage area. Uh, one thing that I'm a bit unsure of in this vehicle, I don't know what this is. So if someone could just tell me in the comments below, that would be really helpful. Uh, that's it for the interior of the car. Now I'm going to be moving on to the trunk. Um, so to open the trunk, you can either use the key fob or you can press that button. I'm going to press the button in this case. Uh, there's a good amount of space in the trunk. You have the owner's manual as well as the first aid kit. If you lift this flap, you can see that uh, there is no spare tire. That is the fuse box. I don't want to touch that. One useful feature that comes with the C300 is that um, lock button. So if you hit that, it closes the trunk and it locks the vehicle. So that if you're getting groceries and you're not going to be returning back to the vehicle, you just press that button and it will lock it. It will close the trunk and it will immediately afterwards lock it. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review or you found it informative in any way. Uh, please put your feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Up next are some pictures of this vehicle.